Next up, Emerald Keepers High School interns. And uh, they're gonna talk about the next generation of Emerald Keepers. Hi everyone, I'm Dylan Burke. I'm a senior at Coronado High School. And as part of my Emerald Keepers internship, my team and I launched a zero waste initiative at our school. Um, Coronado High School has roughly 1,200 students and 100 more faculty and staff on campus. And this amount of people produces roughly 12,000 pounds of trash every single day, a portion of which is generated on campus. Um, before we began our initiative, we did an assessment to see what practices were in place on campus and found there was very limited access to recycling bins and no organic waste collection. Additionally, we found that custodians had not been properly trained how to sort recycling. Um, and as many of you know, um, some pieces of legislation passed in recent years require schools and other entities to collect and properly sort uh, recycling and organic waste. And our goal outlined in our zero waste campaign was to divert 90% of waste from landfill through composting and recycling practices. Um, before we began our campaign, we met with many different stakeholders, including waste management, the school district, and the city of Coronado. Um, and we decided on a three-step process, education, implementation, and monitoring. Um, education was with students, faculty, and staff. And we did this through um, appearances on the school broadcast, social media posts, flyers around campus, uh, the principal's weekly newsletter, and custodial staff was trained over the summer. Um, and then here's a couple of examples of flyers created by our interns. Um, detailing why, stu uh, why students should compost and recycle and how they can help. Uh, the next phase was implementation. After many meetings with the school district, we persuaded them to purchase these tri bins and additional recycling bins, which would be strategically placed around campus. Um, then came monitoring. Student volunteers like myself spent many break and lunch periods stationed at the bins, helping educate students uh, which items uh, should go where and how they could help. Uh, additionally, we kept an online audit of what was going well and what items were commonly misplaced so we could improve our education materials. And then after our initial success at Coronado High School, we developed a schedule to implement these practices at other schools in the Coronado Unified School District. And then um, up next is Abby Pearson. Um, hello, my name is Abigail Pearson, and this is my third year as an Emerald Keepers intern. So another one of the intern initiatives that we have been working on is Emerald Green Ocean Blue Classrooms. So what exactly does Emerald Green Ocean Blue mean? Emerald Green Ocean Blue is a commitment to be environmentally sustainable and to be exerting every effort possible in contributing to the planet's health, longevity, and well-being. In Coronado, there are Emerald Green Ocean Blue Classrooms businesses and restaurants, and now we are hoping to expand this program to classrooms and even entire schools. To qualify as Emerald Green Ocean Blue, there is a set of tailored eco-friendly requirements that the qualifying association must adhere to. So as you might be able to see on this slide, these are the requirements for being an Emerald Green Ocean Blue classroom. They're fairly simple things, things that we should already be implementing. Examples include turning off lights when you're not using them, using a scratch paper bin, recycling, and bringing a reusable water bottle to school. Once the classroom adheres to these protocols, they are awarded with the Emerald Green Ocean Blue sign and sticker, which is merely a tangible way to recognize the impact that they are having on the environment. So how has our implementation progress been going? Emerald Green Ocean Blue Classrooms was launched two years ago with a soft launch in the fifth grade cl level classrooms at Village Elementary. The following year, the program was intended to spread throughout of all of Village Elementary and Silver Strand Elementary, which are the two public elementary schools in Coronado. Um, these are the kids who were in the fifth grade class that we certified. So while we did not quite get to certify all of Villa, Village Elementary and Silver Strand Elementary, we did have some notable accomplishments. We were able to establish connections with admin, teachers, and students, and we were able to successfully present at all, all of the Village Elementary classrooms and at the Friday Flagpole Assembly at Silver Strand. During these presentations, we include interactive games and all of the Emerald Green Ocean Blue materials, which include the requirements, the Emerald Keepers Pledge, and a letter home to the parents explaining the initiative. So our biggest roadblock was the lack of a viable recycling program. Many classrooms did not have recycling bins, so they could not follow the protocols that we had given them. 
We addressed this problem, and as Dylan mentioned, uh, Coronado Unified School District is currently working on implementing an organics waste and recycling program this year. While we were unable to certify classrooms last year, we still wanted to maintain the connections that we had created with students and recognize the progress that they had made. Uh, to do this, we created the Emerald Keepers Trading Card Program. The trading cards are a way to excite students about local environmental action. On the trading cards are interns, their pictures, and some fun facts about them, whether it's their environmental weaknesses, strengths, interests, or what element they most identify with. The kids really love to trade these cards, and some of the kids have even started recreating them, which just shows to show you how excited they are to have this opportunity. And now we will have Kate Gregory speak. Hi, my name is Kate Gregory. This is my third year being an Emerald Keepers intern, and another program we have is the sticker program. So this program works to divert the use of single-use plastic cups through collaborating with local coffee carts. So right now, approximately 1,826,460 cups are thrown away each hour in the United States. And so Emerald Keepers saw this as a really large issue that we wanted to address. So with the collaborating coffee cart companies, you can buy an Emerald Keeper sticker for $5 and then place this on your reusable cup. And then you are able to bring that cup and receive a 5% discount each time you come back. And these are two of the coffee cart companies that we have collaborated with. And we are hoping to expand this program in the future. Another program that we have are the day camps. So these are hosted in the CHS Emerald Keepers Garden, and they work to help teach kids how to compost, garden, and much more. And they get to play lots of fun earth-themed games and crafts, and it's a really great way to get kids involved in sustainability and learn more about the environment. And all funds generated go to help support the CHS Emerald Keepers Club. So speaking of the club, our main focus has been the CHS Garden, which began in 2020. And there we both grow and donate produce as well as compost. And the past two years, we have won the Superintendent's Award for Club of the Year. So we grow a large variety of produce. We grow tomatoes, kale, strawberries, and a lot more produce depending on the season. And so we are able to donate this produce. So last year we donated it to the Neighborhood House Association, but this year we are collaborating with the Coronado Rotary Club to donate to the IB Food Shelter. And they really love getting the fresh produce donations as usually they're getting more packaged and processed foods. We also compost. So we compost waste from our own homes, local grocery stores, and we take compost from our schools. And we have been able to divert over 4,000 pounds of waste. And here's a short video. I don't know. Did you want to say more about it? Yeah. Um, so before we show you the short video, we wanted to talk about some of the other intern projects that we have going on that we don't have slides for. So currently, we are working on a single-use plastic ban for all of Coronado, in which we are going to try to eliminate the use of plastic straws, single-use plastic bottles, styrofoam, and balloons. We also have a project going on that is establishing recycling at the Coronado Shores Apartments buildings. And then we have an intern project that has banned single-use plastic bottles from Cathedral Catholic High School and has installed refillable water bottle stations there as a more environmentally sustainable option. Um, so now, hopefully, this video will work. It's a brief video that our interns have made about sorting waste. Five billion tons of garbage are filling our landfills, yet 70% of all trash can be recycled. According to state records, in 2021, Coronado generated 9.5 pounds of waste per person daily, while cities across the bridge average 4.4 pounds of waste per day. We think you can do better. Organic waste makes up over 40% of California's waste stream. As organic waste decomposes, it it releases a potent greenhouse gas called methane into the atmosphere. This contributes to climate change. So let's see what goes into your trash, recyclables, and compost. Soft plastics like these that you can crinkle in your hands belong in the trash. Hard plastics like these belong in the recycling bin. The things inside your Amazon box like this belong in the trash, but the box itself can go in the recycling bin. 
Although you may think this cup is recyclable, it does have wax on the inside. Therefore, it goes in the trash. However, the paper goes in the recycle. Better yet, bring your own reusable cup and purchase this sticker at Emerald Green Ocean Blue Coffee Shop to get 5% off of your favorite beverage. Bottles, cans, and jars must be completely emptied, but they don't have to be rinsed out, and they go in the recycling bin. Order a compost bin from Edco, or you can get your own to put kitchen scraps, eggshells, strawberry tops, and bananas in the compost bin. All aluminum can be recycled as long as it's clean. While most cardboards go in the recycling, pizza boxes have grease on them, so they have to go in the compost bin. I used to think my dog's poop was compostable, but actually, it's just trash. Paper plates with food stains can be composted. Newspapers and junk mail belong in the recycling. Any plastic film or plastic bags go in the trash. Although there are some places that recycle plastic bags, Coronado does not. All used paper towels can go in the compost bin. Most people already know that our backyard waste goes in the compost, but we're just here to reinforce it. Shredded paper can clog recycling machines, but if you put it in a bag and seal it, you can still recycle it. Seniors, floaties aren't recyclable or compostable, so make sure to pass them down to Junior. We hope that after today, you know how to use each bin correctly. It's up to you to reduce, reuse, and recycle. You, you are, are making an investment, investment in our future. future. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you so much for your time and attention. If you want to find out more about our organization or any of our initiatives, we have the website listed on the slide, or you can reach out to us with that email. Thank you.